Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in the Big Apple, New York, New York. Tonight, Seminole Warriors Boxing Promotions and Golden Boy Promotions in association with Gotham Boxing proudly presents World Class Boxing. Tonight's bouts are brought to you by NAFTA Mosca, Golden Grain Promotions, Global Advertising Strategies, and the Seminole Tribe of Florida. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the junior welterweight division. Your judges scoring this bout at ringside are Tommy Kazmarek, Ron McNair, and Larry Hazard, Jr. Your referee in charge of the action is David Fields. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. He weighed in at 143 pounds. His professional record, 30 wins, six losses with 24 wins by way of knockout. He comes from Brea, California. Let's welcome Daro Jose Esala. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim. He weighed in at 141 and a half pounds. His professional record, 20 wins, two losses with 13 wins by way of knockout. Originally from Manati, Puerto Rico, now fighting out of New York, New York, here is Edgar El Chamaco Santana. Eight rounds of boxing in the junior welterweight division. Okay, gentlemen, we're scheduled about eight rounds. You both know the rules. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. As we look at tail to tape, you see the difference in age. That's a big one. Salas has been off two years. Reach height very close. Salas had just evaporated his first 17 opponents before failing in his biggest breakout fight, a war against Julio Diaz. Let's get going, though, as referee David Fields from the New York Athletic Commission starts us off. They're both in black, but black and gold is Edgar Santana, the hometown favorite. He will pressure. He can move forward, but watch Dara Isalas. He goes for broke, he swings to the fences, and he has one gear. Just really measures with that jab. We haven't seen a jab thrown yet, really a punch. <laughs> you know, you look at him too, look at his back right there, Salas back. He is a fighter who has, looks, appears to be in good condition. Looks like he's in yeah. fabulous shape. It looks great for a fighter that's, uh, you know, only had one fight in the last couple of years. 2005 was his last fight, March of that year. Salas is on the left. He's in the silver and black and the gold and black. Edgar Santana, who, as you said earlier, has rattled off 15 straight. He lost a couple of very close decisions, became enchanted. In fact, he was a barber for over a year, laid off, and then got back in the gym. And he's been full speed ahead ever since with his career. 28 years old, it's time to really start stepping it up. Man. Hoping to give a haircut to our sailors with that uh, overhand right there. You know, you, we talked about the crowd uh, as they were walking into the ring, and it's extremely important to keep your your focus on your opponent. Don't play to the to the to the crowd, to the appreciation, the adulation of the crowd. You play to your your corners want you to do. If they're talking to you, to turn and move, turn him just like right there. Asalis is doing, and Santana tries to control him with that left hook. You got to pay careful attention to your business at hand. Well, I'm already surprised uh, when you mentioned Asalis uh, that he's moving so much. He really doesn't want to engage, and uh, very interesting. I, I've done fight with him years ago, and uh, he never moved this much. Well, look at these angles. Well, and now he'll try to invite. Santana in and counter him. Santana just showing a lot of shoulder, really, really trying to see what his Salas has, it looks like, Sean. Just trying to not necessarily measure him, but see how he moves and how hard he hits. Sure, remember Santana has had 12 KOs in the first round. Marcelo's wisely turning, moving around, stepping around. Edgar Santana on the left from New York City. Still early in this fight, both of them kind of seeing what's there. Dara Salas is uh, 
can trust me a little more yeah. than I suspected uh, for a guy away for two years. Not a good thing for somebody 33 years old. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she'd take off two years every time. <laughs> I guess he could call himself fresh. He looks okay as we wind down round one here at the Garden in New York. Round two in New York, a local favorite, Edgar Santana, gold and black, and in the black and silver, Dario Asalas coming off the two-year layoff and through one round looking like he, he's, still got, he's, he's still got some legs. But again, he's a, he's a guy who, he's a slugger. He wants to go to war, strictly a headhunter, it seems. But you know what? He looks like a slightly different fighter than the guy I've seen in earlier years, uh, Sean. He's probed to the body a couple of times. Now he got cracked by a right hand. And that could change the complexion of the fight in a hurry. But Santana bit and then uh, walked back. He, he, he scored, and now he's resetting and reloading. Yeah, Santana really, really focused because he really wants to brawl, too. He wants to war. But he's turning, hands up high. But there is Salas again with a good body attack. Santana trying to pick off the punches. That was a low blow. That was a belt line blow. And here come the uppercuts. So is Salas already revving the attack and mixing it up beautifully. In fact, really trying to crease that body of Edgar Santana. Oh, a beautiful attack here from Daro Asalas. But Asalas not getting through with these punches. A lot of them landing on the elbows or low like that or around the gloves. Well, it's a nice work being patient now if you're Santana. Come right back. Your opponent spent a lot of energy with that assault. Look at that good uppercut from Santana. He's got to throw a few more shots, it would seem, but maybe he is waiting. He's felt, he's absorbed some punches cleanly, and as you said, picked off a lot more, but he's felt how hard Asalas could hit, and obviously doesn't seem worried about it, but he better strength. start transitioning it back into offense. A couple of strength. Look at these guys, both of them. Muscles upon muscles. When you have muscles in your back, there's nothing back there. I mean, you've got muscles back there that are so so prolific. Look at them, they're both of these fighters. Well, they're really, really content, Sean, to stand and slug here. So we'll see who could win the exchange. Santana whizzes a left hook that misses. And now the dance center of the ring, and David Fields will break them. Left hand is low by Daro Asalas. He is looking, and he's giving up any kind of hint. Uh, Look height. how low he got down. Put down like, like a crab. He got he squatted down real low. Hard to hit a guy when he gets in that position. Well, I got to give it to Asalas. He's really come to win. And then, you know, almost a two and a half year layoff for him. But Santana trying to walk him down now, and a oh, double hook from Santana. One to the body, one to the head. It worked. Absolutely. See, see that again. Ouch. Just a slap on the back. Looks like it hurt. Just classic double hook. And look at that beautiful turn from Santana as he really ran Asalas into a shot. Asalas comes back nicely. Just an absolutely spirited second round here. Here comes Santana in the golden black, pressing forward. So it's Asalas skimming the ropes, brushing the ropes with his back, trying to figure out and moving both ways. No angles, though. There he snuck a little lead right in, got cracked by a counter punch from Santana. Now he'll mix it up, and the last guy punching was Asalas. So Asalas absolutely holding his own in this fight. And it's been a surprise once again for a 33-year-old vet whose last fight, he was TKO'd in seven two years ago. Edgar Santana needs this fight. He's on a red hot streak, 15 straight. And he's got a crowd full of fans and friends. And uh, he's fighting an uphill battle. We got him, we got him behind on our unofficial scorecard, I think. I had trouble but with that first round. Clearly, the solace with the second, just in terms of aggression. Oh, nice oh, oh. right hand, and then a follow-up left. Digging body shots by Yasala, so a lot of those are sneaking through. Watch the uppercuts here. Santana just doesn't look into the fight yet, Sean. Yasala gets low, and he cracks to the body, and then he brings it up head. to the head. 
So do you think Santana's playing a little bit of a waiting game, hoping this 33-year-old's gonna punch his way out? He can't afford to let Rounds slip through in an eight-round fight. Not at all, he's still early, and he, he's landing a few shots now. He Look just got clipped there with a left to the body. Comes back with some body oh, shots. Body Look shots. at those belt line shots. Up. They're, they're low. Salas just sinking that right hand into the body, but not as much, quite as much snap on those punches. Now it looks like Santana will try to seize the advantage. And he is coming forward now and walking in to more body shots. Wow. So as Salas, who I had watched before and Sean labeled him purely a headhunter, I am completely wrong. He's changed up big time. Look at these body shots. I'll tell you what, those add up in an eight round fight. You can shake off headshots. You can't shake off the body. Sean Santana's just not in this fight, in my opinion. Not yet. One of the reasons is those body shots take it out of you. And he's bleeding now. His blood looks like a oh, bad cut on the left eye, corner of the left eye of Dario Asalas, and it's streaming. Look at the ear, the left ear of Santana. That's probably not from a punch. That's the blood of his opponent on him. That's my guess. They are hidden. But there's blood on both sides. Oh, look at the blood streaming. Left side of the face, the ear of Daro Asalas. Asalas pushing forward at the end of three. But we're in the critical fourth round, and you got to get through this. And Asalas is up and ready to go. You know, there's a lot of things contributing to that blood that's coming out of there. It's hot in the ring. You're underneath the TV lights. You're getting hit there. Oh, good luck to oh, And Asalas is really Asalas. pumped up the urgency. Asalas is under a sense of urgency because of that cut. They could stop it. Good body punches. Again, the body attack doing wonderfully for Asalas in this fight. Oh, the blood again a factor, and they've got to go four for oh. this to be an official fight. Yeah, that blood's in a bad, bad location, and it's streaming. Body shot for Masalas. Why is Santana simply covering up, waiting to counter? That's it, typically time. not his style. But he time. He, all he needs, all he needs now is the times. You know. Well, he wants to get this stopped before the uh, before the four rounds. Well, the blood doesn't seem to be flowing into the eye. It seems to be on the corner of the eye. So it's not impeding the vision of his solace, it looks like. It's below the eye at this Ooh, point. Right on it. Another, another hit right on the cut. And again, you know, when you see that blood up there, you use it as a target. Just what Santana is doing. There's a little wipe at that eye. The blood but, trickles down into you. You don't even know you're cut, but Sean, the blood trickles down into your eye, and that that uh, impedes your vision. But Sean, I can't get in a ring with this guy, but I don't understand why Santana's not going after him more. He can't possibly be tired. He should really be going after him. Hitting that cut. Sure left left hook. Hook. Now he tries yeah. the overhand right, but Isalas moved out of the way, avoiding a flush shot. You know, he's done a good job with that left hook, but he needs to be throwing the overhand right, Santana does. Well, because of the Salas. cut and the, 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 the position of that cut. Well, it's Salas at times when he's stand, you know, he doesn't stand around a lot. He's throwing punches when he's inside. But there are times he's doing nothing, and Santana's not making him pay, in my opinion. What heart uh, uh, Salas has. You know, those, the fighters that bleed like that, and they still fight through it, what heart. You see your own blood as a shock anyway. Undaunted, though. Salas definitely on, on aggression winning this fight. And, and he's the one pressing the attack. He looks stronger than Santana. Yeah, the cut is no worse, oh. and the reason is Santana, Santana hasn't gone after it. Santana just looks out of it. He doesn't look like he's ever dialed into this fight mentally. Going through the motions. Instead of by a headbutt. So is Salas in a bad position now, if we're correct that that was a butt, but because it was, it's been ruled a punch. The idea is now that they've completed four, if Salas can't continue, he loses the fight. It's basically like he had to quit. 
when he's still in it. Look at the focus from him, even getting down into Salas. Santana on the attack now. Salas knows it. This is what a lot of people have been waiting for. Big oh, right hand. Big right hand just on that cut. And it looks like it's trickling down again, the blood. And Santana sticks the jab. He looks like a different person, different fighter here. Zeroing in on that cut. A huge factor. There it is. You can see good look at the blood coming down there. That's the blood in high definition. Especially when you're in there getting cut. <laughs> but again, Sean, uh, not to minimize what it's like to have blood streaming down your face. Now he's wiping it away. It isn't pouring into his eye, so it's not doesn't look like it's impeding vision. Well, it tickles your face when it runs down like but, that. That but, may be why he's, he's yeah. wiping at it, not because it's going. Now it's on the outside orbital, so obviously it's, it, the flow of the blood is down the side of the face, not into the eye. That's why it's not been stopped. Well, and, and, but also in terms of the fighter, wouldn't it maybe not cause him to panic as much saying I you know I can still see just fine I know I'm bleeding sure, but sure you don't know your you don't know how bad it is until after the fight you don't you won't know you know your corner's not going to tell you that you're really cut badly oh now, now we see Santana, the, 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 the Santana finally letting his hands go his left hand is so low here as he tries to pot shot the Salas and the Salas inexplicably backing up a lot yeah, more. Yeah, Salas taking a break this round. He's had a, a busy first four rounds. Sean, why, in your opinion, has uh, Santana had such difficulty figuring out a Salas or starting this late? Looks to me like like a Salas is stronger. He went out and he took control in the opening round. The opening round is so important in eight-round fights. A Salas went out there and he took control in the opening round. He still got a lot of control here. Santana trying to take it back. Santana is trying to do something differently. He wasn't winning those early rounds the way he was. He was fighting him on the inside. Now Santana showing angles, hands down, not punching. Yeah, hands are down. He's trying to shake out. He's trying to relax. He feels like he's too tight, apparently, in those first four rounds. He just feels tight in there. Do you think he won this round? You know what? I think he did. Yeah, he, to me, then we've got it. I've got it three two. Uh, yes, Alice. Got something going. How do you have it through five? I have it four one uh, through five. Four rounds for uh, Isaias and uh, one round for Santana. I'll tell you what. Isaias is really focused in there. You know what? Look at that. He's got Santana backing up. Santana trying to change his style. I don't, I don't understand Shots Santana's strategy at all. I got to tell you, why he's running at this point is he think the older guy's legs are going to give out by trying to chase him. Yeah, he looks like the older guy here. Yeah. You know, uh, Santana's fought definitely in spurts. Santana, 28, 33 year old, Dario Salas. Look how low he gets too. Wow. That's impressive. When you get that low and you're that tall, he's five foot eight, a solid. You get that low, you're going to be hard to hit. Your opponent's punches go over your head. Look who's punching here on the inside. Well, it's Santana, it's Santana really, really trying to cover his body, not realizing his head is open. Well, if it's there, Santana isn't taking advantage of anything. And I think Asalas is generating, using really solid technique to generate all his offense. He's always in position to land there. Look at cracking with that left. And Santana just waiting, 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 not even countering here as he invites Asalas in. Now, he'll try to roll, but he's still inviting open targets. He's not doing anything. Good turnout, uh, spins off the ropes and lands an uppercut, yeah. Santana. And you got to get off those ropes. Get on, he went right back to the ropes after he spun out of that. He spun out and he went right back to the ropes. You know what? Something tells me he's been he's been doing this in the gym. If you see a fighter if fighting this way, it's an easier way to fight. It's dangerous because you take a lot of punches, but it's easier. You just lean up against the ropes and you battle with your opponent. Let him come into you. He's using all the energy, not you. You're leaning on the ropes. Yeah, we'll pull up those trunks. We don't want a split decision. Back Santana to the jam. better get dialed in. 
I got to tell you, with 40 seconds to go in this six, he's losing this round, in my opinion, and that would make him down four rounds to two in my book. Remember, this is New York, and this is where he lives. How much of a consideration that will play with the judges? It's a very subjective thing. Scoring is yeah. anyway, right? Three score, three uh, judges, three three inside, ten point less system. And different angles, you know, you have yeah. to say that in fairness. We're seeing it from one angle. Left hand from Isalas. Punches like that enough to win a round. Single shots. Seventh round, it has been a blistering pace from Esalas with the body work. He took off the sixth round. Fifth round, he changed his tactics a little bit. And uh, he has been so effective downstairs to the body. Uh, look at Esalas Santana coming trying forward, to, coming forward. The last couple of rounds, Santana has been trying to maneuver about, but he's been unsuccessful doing it. Let me ask you this, left hand low by Santana, both hands down. You shorten up your right hand. What do you do when a guy's left hand, even when he's in range? It looks Short, like. Yeah, shorten your right, your right cross and uh, make him pay. Uh, real fast right hand, land it every time. It'll beat the jab when it's down that low. Or even sometimes faint the jab and then throw the right hand. Boy, Asalas is really doing a lot of right things. You know, he, he punches on the way out. He's the last guy punching on these exchanges, and it really has made a difference in my eyes if I'm judging this fight, Sean. And the focus is manifest on him. He wants to win this. He wants a victory tonight. Looking like he may get it. Santana again changing his style. He back on his toes now. Still trying to still feel like he is trying to shake out. He, just sometimes you get in the ring and it's an off night. You just have an off night. Just something not right, doesn't feel right. He looks a little bemused in there. He looks a little uh, upset, hurt about something. Good left hook. He's got some good punches and some good skills. Santana does. And he needs this round. Oh, he needs a big. And here he'll start to rev up the attack. And Santana in the, with the gold stripe finally putting something together. This is a critical round, in my opinion, for him. One minute left, he better step on the gas. Good counter punch from Santana there, hands though. Now he's just moving, moving, flicks the jab, showing different angles, but doing very little offensively. But here is Salas just trudging forward, now not firing shots. Santana has 13 KOs in his 20 wins. He could, he's got to start going, try and go for the knockout. How do you do that? By the seventh round, you start throwing real relaxed, fast punches. Pay attention to your detail. Make them real crisp and real clean and land them to the right place. Where's the right place? Maybe the point of the chin, maybe the nose, maybe the temple. Search around for those openings. Santana's still working the body. The same as downstairs. Again, Santana's on the home on those ropes. Eighth and final round here at the Garden in New York. Darro Salas on the left in the gold and black is hometown favorite Edgar Santana. And Santana backing up when he needs to be coming forward or countering and being the busier guy now. A battle of will, battle of beyond skill. We know what both these guys could do. But Santana has shown limited offensive firepower throughout this fight, and he's got, in my opinion, less than three rounds, three minutes to get it together. What do you think, Sean? One of the ways that you rob an opponent of his power is by body work. That's been the story tonight for Asalas downstairs, has taken all the power out of Santana. You know, these punches at Santana's landing, he'll land an occasional good left hook, but it's a single shot, and there's not the power on that that there was earlier in this fight. Santana should have been moving away from those, huh? not standing there absorbing it, even if you're taking shots. I mean, how do you stay away? Why, why do you stand and trade with this guy? Good right cross from Santana. When you feel the ropes on your back, slide down those ropes and get off of them. 
You know, he's been spending too much time on the ropes. Way too much. And uh, he's been getting tagged on the ropes like that. There's a body punch. It's just, he just crush you. Look at the blood on the side of the, the arm of Santana. That's not his blood. That's Osalis' blood. Less than two minutes to go. This could turn into a slugfest down the stretch. They both have to a, know it's a, a close slugfest, fight. They, slugfest here. <laughs> that, I'm saying, that, well, I call this the stretch with less than two minutes to go. All right, there's loose tape on the glove, and that'll buy some loose time. Tape on a, loose tape on his trunks, too. I'm going to tape the nose up. <laughs> I think Santana needs some new trunks. Maybe he's been on such a diet, his trunks are falling off. I think he needs a new approach. <laughs> Without disparaging him, he hasn't done enough in this fight offensively. He's 28, the younger guy. He should be the fresher guy. But he looked more fatigued in there whenever the this break happened and started. Trying to put that tape on, trying to buy a little bit more time. Hey, you think you that, be sure uh, that shirt, you think, uh, you think he could get that thing laundered? I doubt it. <laughs> I think that one goes in the dust bin after this. Here we go, inside two minutes, and they are standing and slugging here. Let's see who backs the other guy up. It's really a question of that right now. Punch volume, and Isala's not backing off at all. And Sean, there's Santana in a familiar spot on the ropes. Santana on the ropes, and Isala's banging to the body. It's been the you know, game plan wall punches, to wall in this fight. A lot of those body punches are, are low. I'm surprised that uh, nothing's yeah, been said about that. No, not, not no, warning, no warning. And they, they've been blatantly low. Under a minute to go. Oh, good Santana right hand. with a good follow-up, so he Another. caught him on the second and third try. But here comes Isalas with fire in return. He's got to be a little gassed, it would seem, but he looks pretty darn fresh for a 33-year-old who hadn't fought in two years. If oh. Santana could steal this round and by not steal it, win it, and it looks like he is to me. But let's see it finish here. Oh, nice right hand. Asalas needs something, in my opinion, here to win this fight because it looks like, in, on my card, I've got it a draw. Ooh, big left hook. And a big Five round seconds. for Santana. from Madison Square Garden after eight rounds of boxing. We go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Judge Tom Kaczmarek scores about 77-75 for Esalas. Judge Ron McNair scores about 77-75 for Santana. Judge John McCain scores about 77 75 for the winner by split decision, Edgar and Shamani.